today I'm doing something a little bit different. Normally when I film book reviews, and I think a lot of other booktubers do this, they plan out what they're going to say at least a little bit because these can be tricky videos to film. But I'm going to switch things up and film this video off the cuff, so let's just see how this goes. Today I'm going to be reviewing Norwegian Wood by Haruki Murakami. I've been reading a little bit about Haruki Murakami and reading your comments when I mentioned in passing that I'm going to read this book, and he seems to be one of the most, if not the most popular authors in Japan right now. And considering how obsessed I am with Asia, and in particular Japan, I think I've mentioned that in another video as well, I don't know how I hadn't heard of this author before because he just is that popular. So Norwegian Wood is arguably his most popular book, but, but also interestingly Murakami has stated that he's not really sure why it's his most popular work and apparently a lot of his other books have the supernatural in it which this doesn't but anyway let's just get into a quick spoiler free plot summary. Norwegian Wood takes place in I believe the early 1970s in Tokyo. The protagonist's name is Toru and he's at his first year at university and while he's attending university he falls in love with a girl that I originally had pronounced her name as Naoko but apparently it's Naoko. Now what makes this difficult is Naoko is the former girlfriend of their mutual best friend named Kazuki who back in high school died, I won't say how. Their bond has always been through Kazuki and now they're sort of discovering themselves without him. Toru ends up falling in love with Naoko but just from the first few pages of the book you can sense that there is something incredibly off about her character. My personal favorite character is a girl who is a fellow student in his class who becomes one of his best friends and her name is Midori. Let me know who your favorite character is if you've read this book, but you know, Midori just had so many opinions on so many different things. She was so talkative and intelligent and in a lot of ways very confident but also quite insecure. Although she's my favorite character, I probably would have despised her in real life just because she is that talkative. But even though there's often points where there's so much text that just her speaking and Toru maybe putting in a word here and there because he's not the most talkative character in the world, it didn't matter and it didn't ever feel boring because I always found what she was saying interesting. The book is very introspective, it's all from Toru's point of view, it also deals a lot with sexuality, there's also a bit of history in it because this is taking place, like I said, I think in the 1970s and there's sort of a student revolution happening that Toru is witnessing. Another one of my favorite characters, I can't say where you meet this character, but she's a bit of an older woman and her name is Rico, it's, it's spelled R E I K O, I believe. I should also say her backstory also causes you to end up reading this one short scene where she's telling Toru about things happened during the past. One of the most uncomfortable scenes I have ever read in a book before, and you guys know I read a lot of weird, strange book, but I just can't get that scene out of my head, and I really wish that I could. If you guys have read the book, you know what scene I'm talking about. After reading this book, I can definitely understand why Norwegian Wood is a lot of people's favorite Murakami book, but especially considering he doesn't understand why this is people's favorite, that almost makes me even more interested and excited to read his other books. A lot of you guys have recommended which out of his other books because there are quite a few I should read next, so I've got a little list going. Also really be interested in reading a book that is about sort of a transplant in Japan who's not from the area just to see their perspective on it. Sort of a, a little bit like maybe Lost in Translation if you've seen the movie that style. Obviously it doesn't need to be an American female like in the movie and myself. Just someone who's not from the area so if you know any books like that or just about or that are just heavily influenced by Japanese culture in general, please let me know. I think Murakami is probably so popular because of the way he builds his characters and how real they feel and so interesting, and the writing is obviously wonderful as well. So I'm going to give Norwegian Wood 5 out of 5 stars. I've given a lot of books so far this year 5 out of 5, which is very abnormal for me. I normally can be a bit of a stickler when it comes to how I rate my books, but I've just... I guess picked out some really good books so far this year. So let me know if you've read any of Murakami's books or if you're interested in reading this and I will see you guys soon. Bye!